help it the way I feel about this. I can't help it. That's just my story. It's not your story. You can take or leave the Occupy Wall Street or any of this. You can take or leave it. I think that's the way you bridge difference. And I think we've had many, many workshops where we've had victimizers and victims coming back together. In the United States, there's a movement called restorative justice, which is trying to take the heat out of the notion that if you've been victimized, the person that victimized you is no longer human. We imprison a vast number of people in the United States. So there's a counter movement to try to find dialogue. It's not that somebody shouldn't be punished, but they shouldn't be dehumanized. And part of the way you humanize them again is letting them confront in conversation some of the victims of the people that they have affected. And that kind of dialogue always comes down to the story. It, it, can you hear my story? And again, it doesn't mean forgiveness will come either. It just means, yes, I heard your story and I imagine you're a human being. I can't just treat you as somebody that I can put in a warehouse and dispose of. So to me, our work is certainly finding that, that bridging mechanism that story gives, that uh, opinion or, or strongly held point of view uh, doesn't affect. And I would say most of our story circle work, we would have ground rules that say that, that we, you know, you can't, you can't hurt somebody else in this process. You need to be <coughs> conscious of the way your words affect other people. And again, that core respect is an important part of the healing.